Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can use um world constraint. Okay, so what you wanna do is let me just explain to you first why I think the world constraints are a lot better than actual worlds on Roblox. So let me insert a part. I just see right here, and if I duplicated that. When you weld, you need to join every surface. They need to be joined, as you see right here, to create a weld, which causes them not to break apart when they fall down uh, or moved. Okay? Wait, what? <laughs> Move. Um. So yeah, if you use that, you cannot really, you know, join other types of parts. You see, it's a red, which means that it cannot really be welded. Um, so yeah, there's not really any way to, let's say I, I wanted to, oops, let's say I wanted to, um, weld these two models together, right? So let's say I wanted, uh, let's say that I wanted to weld this model together, right? It's a very weird model, so, yep. It, 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 as you see, there's not really any flat surfaces on this model, which essentially means that there's no way that they can be welded together with the normal join surfaces. So the way that you would do this is you want it to, you would want to group all of these, not necessarily group them. Uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna do that for this one. So just you want to have one part so we rename this one to main part and with that part we would want to weld them all together okay so go in and insert a weld constraint and then we are gonna choose a part of one which is should no i mean part zero and that one is always going to be the main part now so now we have inserted that input so now that's the main part and we're gonna choose the part um, one, which is going to be the other part around the main part. So I'm just going to choose that one. So right here. Now it shows the welds right here, which we can remove by doing like this. Um, but if you want it to show the welds, you can click there. I don't know why they appear so huge. So here we have it, um, which is the part. So let's go ahead and duplicate that. So you just want to keep um, duplicating them. So that one was the first one. This is the second one. Then duplicate it. I'm gonna go ahead right here. Clip that one. Duplicate it. And choose that one. And there's also a bottom piece apparently. So I'm gonna do Control D. Go in there. But so, so I don't know if I welded them all, but let's see if they are the. Uh, sitting together now, so they shouldn't fall apart now, um, which should be fairly obvious, um, but we'll find out if they break apart, as you see, they don't break apart, so this is really how good well constraints really are, you can, like, use them with these, so they are really good, if you ask me, so I use these a lot in my space game, um, mainly because that when building rockets for my game, there's a lot of technical and special parts that yeah, I need to have inside. Therefore, I will need to use well constraints and not weld, because the welds, as you see, um, cannot be welded together. Let's say that I had that one and that one. They are really difficult to um, kind of, you know, weld together. So if I try to, let's say, um, surface, I added a weld right here let me try to add a weld right there you can actually weld it with these two i guess i'm just not that good at it but um we can try welding these two get together i think it is possible i'm not sure but it kind of makes this texture so i'm not sure if that works i see they should not sit together so let me try running it i'm pretty sure that they will break apart um i'm not sure because i haven't really tried it Oh, they actually sat together, but as you see right here, these are much better than this, um, because if we attach these two in a way like this, you see that is not possible, um, I'm pretty sure, so, 
See, yeah, that's not possible. With this one, you can do that. So that means actually the, the walking train, in my mind, is a lot better. It might be a little bit more difficult to use and advance, but they are amazing. A little pair of physics. This is Roblox physics. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and like. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.